What's up guys, this is Kenneth Bleeder from Night Take Night, and I like wearing colorful shirts. Whatever. Um, okay, so right now I'm gonna bring you an unboxing of the Hop Hog HD PVR. I think you pronounce it Hop Hog. Um, you guys can correct me on the pronunciation if you want, I, I don't really care. And here it is, it came via UPS just a few minutes ago, so I just want to make this unboxing video. And yes, I will start from the UPS box. Um, so I will set this on a table and you guys will see the unboxing and as I'm doing the unboxing I'll probably give you a description of uh, what this product even is so uh, yeah stay tuned for that see so, yeah, guys uh, let me just go over some stuff um, about the hop hog HD PVR this thing costs around two hundred dollars I believe two hundred thirty on the site uh, so if you look around you could go find one for probably between two hundred to two hundred thirty dollars um, let me just talk some specs here. Um, it does naturally encode in H.264 right on the hot box, so you don't have to do any computer encoding, anything like that. It literally just uh, records, captures, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. And if you want to export, you could export. It literally only takes two seconds. So all of the encoding is done on the hot box itself. Now, um, the data rate is 1 to 13 megabits per second, so you'll barely, you'll barely see any choppiness between the signal coming from the hot plug to your, t uh, to your computer. Um, but you will notice that there's about a one second lag because it is not the fastest connection. So, uh, just know that if you're going to record this with gaming, there is uh, about one latency, one uh, second latency of lag. So, um, this uh, does allow you to record up to 1080i, and uh, that is through component cables. And of course, since some people actually use this to record gaming, there is a pass through system wherein you hook up your PlayStation to the Hop Hog and the Hop Hog to your TV. And this is basically no latency lag whatsoever. And uh, of course, from the hop hog to your computer, as I said before, there is some latency lag, so you cannot use this to play through your computer, but you can use this to record to your computer and play through your TV. So as for system requirements, guys, uh, basically you will need an Intel Mac or an Intel Core 2 or equivalent for your PC. Um, I think preferably for Macs you'll probably need at least Tiger and that is because for Macs uh, and I talk specifically for Macs um, you will need Elgato ITV which will cost you around $30 and that is basically the whole deal right there to record, to watch, uh, to DVR all your shows if you want to do that type of thing and uh, yeah so that's another thing for Mac users and for PC users it comes with some software to DVR and record and all that um, so yeah, you guys are pretty much covered, but all you need is the specs. Um, so yeah, I just took out some documentation there. The first two things I took out, the first thing was um, I took out a thank you note from Hopog for buying the product. And the second thing was an, an instruction manual, installation guide. And the third thing was a CD, which of course is PC only. Uh, Mac users again, you'll have to buy Elgato ITV, which is $30. Um, this right here is component cables. You have uh, the three video cables and the two audio cables right there so um, they only give you one set so obviously you'll need to get another set in order to do the pass-through setup um, right there is the batteries for that remote that I just showed you and the remote only works with third-party software so um, any software that comes with the hop hog uh, the remote will probably probably not work um, I'm not sure if it works with the ArcSoft because I haven't tried it, so um, don't ask any questions about the PC usage because I have no idea, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize for my PC users, but I can say for a fact that the Mac users cannot use the remote. Um, so I will take out the power cord. What I took out before this white box here was actually an IR blaster, and that is for... Um, if you want your Hophog HD PVR to act as a DVR uh, to your cable box, if you choose to hook up your cable box to your HD PVR, basically um, the software that you hook up the HD PVR to will send a remote signal to the IR blaster, and the IR blaster will send a uh, signal just as if it was a remote for your cable box, and basically you can set what time what program and if you have a channel guide uh, you can basically set what program you want to watch at whatever channel 
at whatever time. And uh, that's basically how IR blasters work, guys. Um, I cannot go into further detail into what IR blasters are. Um, please do a Google search on it if you really want more information on it. Um, so yeah, that is the Hotbug HD PVR, guys. Uh, I did a really brief unboxing. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff was out of frame when I did this. So uh, yeah, that is HD PVR. We'll do some more in-depth stuff later. Uh, so yeah, guys. Um, I just like to make a little side commentary here. Um, I just like to let you guys know that this is not my best unboxing, unfortunately, and I'm pretty sure some of you may notice that. Um, I feel like I rushed through the explanation of some things that actually came out of the box, but I felt like explaining the Hapagishi PVR more thoroughly would help you guys understand what it actually does, especially those that may see this as a random unboxing and uh, may not know what the product is or even heard of what this thing is. Um, moving on guys, um, I will be making a review video for this product, so if you have any questions pertaining to the HEPVR, uh, feel free to ask them, but um, please, if it's simple questions like, um, what is 1080i, or uh, how do I connect this to my computer, or you know things like that, please don't ask those questions, those questions can easily be answered by Google. Um, I will not be there to answer those questions. I will answer more educated questions. Guys, also, um, I will be making a Hop Hog Ishi PVR tutorial for Max on request. So um, if you guys do want to see that tutorial, do request it in addition to whatever comments you may put on there. If you do have any comments that you want to put on there. Uh, so yeah, please do that. Um, so yeah, I'll wrap up before I start rambling again. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this whole video. I'm Kenneth Bledo from Nightechite. Please rate what you think it deserves, even though I think it deserves uh, not that much. Uh, please rate, comment, uh, of course, all the things that I told you to comment. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, we'll take any support that you give us. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank you guys also for helping us reach 200 subscribers. I'd like to thank all of our subs, all of our viewers, and all of our friends. And also keep a lookout for um, a prize video because that will definitely be coming up soon because we did say that we would give 200, not 200, we'll be giving away a prize at 200 subscribers. So, um, again, thank you. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys later.